Hello everybody and welcome to Fishy. This is another showcase for IG Collective, so thanks to them for that and thanks to the devs for reaching out. This game is going to look pretty cute already. I work at an aquarium actually. I'm a volunteer interpreter, so I'm actually kind of interested to see where this is going to go. So let's just go in. Welcome in the background. Honestly, you didn't even want to come here. The ocean has never been your thing. There are sharp things you can step on and colorful things that inject poison into you when you touch them and large things that are faster and stronger than you and the worst part, they're all alive and they're hungry. Mom, I'm out of sparkling water. You turn to look at the in instigator of your distress, Monica. It's her 14th birthday. Last year for her birthday, Monica's parents rented the local theme park for the whole day. The whole day? How expensive is that? The entire class had gone. You had gotten to ride the big kid rides for the first time. Everyone talked about it for the rest of the year. As the date approached again, the talk started to shift. What would Monica do for her birthday this year? You recall the sinking feeling in your stomach when you found out. You're invited. Monica's 14th birthday. Overnight marine adventure. RSVP. Um, you spent, you're invited to Monica's 14th birthday, overnight marine adventure. Spend an evening at the aquarium exploring the exhibits before tucking into your sleeping bag for a night under the sea. Mom, the sparkling water is cherry flavored. Gross. Typical Monica. Oh, fucking Monica. <laughs> your classmates swarm the lobby excitedly, stepping over sleeping bags and toothbrushes that no one has any intention of using. An aquarium employee is going student to student, handing out ID badges. You stand alone. Where's Misha? Why isn't she here yet? She promised. You remember that day at lunch, when she convinced you. You have to come! It'll be so much fun! And if you don't go, you'll miss out! Everyone else is going! You'll be the only kid in our class who did go! Look, I know you don't like fish, or oceans, or like water, or whatever, but you'll probably like it once you get there. It's not like we're swimming with sharks or anything. There's no actual danger. I'll be with you the whole time. Promise. Well, you're here. And Misha isn't. So that's cool. The door to the aquarium opens. Misha? What up, nerds? Uh-oh. Toby drops his bag near the door and runs over to Monica, holding his hands above his head like a shark fin. Dun, 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 dun. Stop it, Toby! You're so annoying! Dun 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 dun! Toby isn't in your grade, but he's Monica's older cousin, so he usually ends up at her parties anyway. Oh, a tag along. The aquarium guide approaches you with a friendly smile. Hi there, I'm going to print your ID card. Would you help me fill one out for you? Oh, name? Um. Nunya Business. <laughs> Thank you, Nunya Business. Favorite sea creature? Oh, that's so hard. That's really tough. I like I said, I work in an aquarium. I like a lot of animals. I've worked. I've been recently doing the marine mammal card a lot, though. But we have. Mmm. Mmm. That's so hard. But they're all so pretty. I love them all. Um. Blue whale. I like the blue whale. There we go. That's my favorite, too! Here you go. Don't lose it. Thanks, Katie! <laughs> my name can't even fit on the thing. The aquarium guide looks around. Well, I think that's everyone. Let's go ahead and start. Wait, my friend isn't here yet. I'm sure they'll be here soon. Besides, the majesty of the aquarium awaits. A blue whale! He gives you two thumbs up and then heads over to Monica's parents. Attention, everyone! Monica is standing on a bench, gesturing wildly. Your, your classmates quiet down and gather around her. Thanks for coming to my birthday. Tonight's going to be really fun. We have a free run of the entire aquarium, so we can do whatever we want. Actually, some of our exhibits are under construction or closed temporarily for one reason or another, so please stay away from any off-limits areas. Just trying to keep your kids safe. He's sweating. <laughs> Somebody hit this poor dude to break. He has to deal with all these 14-year-olds. The guy looks nervous. You wonder what that's about. 
Anyway, it's going to be tons of fun, but sure, restricted areas. There will be cake and presents later. Feeling a little anxious, you trace the rivets on your prosthetic arm. Also, we have unlimited LaCroix, so go wild. Oh, shit. Unlimited LaCroix? I don't... I don't think I'm cool enough for this party. Thank you, Monica, and happy birthday. Now, everyone, we're going to enter the aquarium. We'll walk through the Magnificent Jellies exhibit and drop off your stuff in the deep ocean room, where you'll be sleeping next to our 1.1 million gallon saltwater tank, our largest tank. Dread shoots through your body. You'll be sweet sleeping where? Now follow me, we're going to have a really special night. Enter, I only have one choice. Or I could just close the game. No, I won't do that. Ooh! It's dark inside the jellyfish exhibit. You catch glimpses of the faces of your classmates, illuminated by the glow of the tanks. You walk along the black velvet floors, keeping to the back of the group. You don't know these people very well, but they all seem to be best friends. Plus it's dark. You bump into a large shape in front of you. Hey, watch it, freak! Ignore him. He doesn't deserve our... It's none, none of his business. <laughs> Weirdo. The aquarium guide stops in front of a wide tank with rounded edges. Jellyfish float gently behind him in a seemingly endless blue void. It's the best way to be. Now, like I said, we're going to drop off your stuff in the deep ocean room. After that, you're free to explore the aquarium until bedtime. We have a few rules. No running, no tapping on the glass, and like I said, no entering restricted areas. Now, does anyone have any ideas about why we're not allowed to tap on the glass? Because it'll break, uh, killing all of us. <laughs> no, the glass on these small tanks is half an inch thick, and the glass on our largest tanks, which you'll see later, is over 20 inches thick. You're perfectly safe. Would anyone like to take another stab at why we shouldn't tap on the glass? I know why. It gives the fish anxiety. Delaney, Delane is very smart. She's won first place in the school science fair every year since fifth grade. That's right, and... Fish get sick when they're stressed, and they can even die from stress. All animals can die from stress, even humans. It's a scientific fact. Well, yes, technically you're correct. But no worries about that here. We just want to make sure the little fishes are as comfortable and as happy as possible. The darkness is making you feel uneasy. You jump when someone grabs your shoulders. Hey, none of your business! <laughs> you turn around. It's Misha! What I miss? Misha is whisper shouting, visibly excited and grinning ear to ear. You step away from the group to continue the conversation as the aquarium guide launches into a story about the aquarium's history. You scared me, and you're super late. I was worried you wouldn't come. Of course I'm going. I would never miss out on this. What took you so long? Oh, nothing. Just some stuff. Is Toby here? Yeah, why? I think he's kind of cute. Anyway, look at all those cool jellies. They're like little aliens. You watch the jellies for a while. Some of them are kind of cute. The little ones that bob up and down. But some of them are bigger than you expected. Ooh. Oh, oh! Jellyfish tentacles are- Oh wait, sorry, wrong voice. <clears throat> Jellyfish tentacles are extremely dangerous. They sting prey, so they're all paralyzed and can't do anything while jellyfish digest them. Uh, that's true, Delane, but none of that can happen here. Oh, Delane's just going on a tirade. Can you imagine what it would be like? Paralyzed? Frozen? Unable to move while their predator uses its long-distance tentacles to slowly, painfully raise you into there. Okay, thanks so much for the facts, Delane. The ocean sure is a fascinating subject. Let's head to the deep ocean room and set our things down, okay? You follow the group through the rest of the jellyfish exhibit, relieved to be free of Delane's terrifying facts until... You stop. The other kids file into a room called the Deep Ocean Room. Through the doorway, you can see the large tank. Glass lines an entire wall, floor to ceiling. There's something about that room. Something about the incredible vastness of the tank. How it does really look like a portal to the ocean. And you get the impression of something huge moving towards you. A shark? You turn away, letting the others pass you. Hey, Misha, can I put my stuff near yours? Why? You scared? No, I just feel weird about that room. Just feels weird. Just take my bag. 
find whatever way here. You think about the ocean. You think about water, deep water, so deep you can't see the bottom. You think about looking down and seeing nothing but darkness because the sun can't penetrate anywhere near the seafloor. You think about a giant mouth breaking through the darkness and it has eyes and teeth and it sees you. Hey! Misha grabs your hand. Come on, we're going to the kelp forest. Toby and a few other boys run by, laughing. You hesitate. Misha rolls her eyes. Ugh, don't worry, it's the kelp forest. It's not scary at all. No sharks, just the plants. Come on. She lowers her voice. This is our chance to hang out with the cool kids. I really want to look good in front of them. I know you're not, like, super into this, but it would mean a lot to me. Just try, please. I'll try. Thanks, Dunya Business. <laughs> You're a good friend. Now, come on. Why did I put my name as that? It's making me laugh. When you reach the kelp forest, Toby has already jumped on the railing and has his face pressed against the glass. Toby's going to get eaten or something. Toby, don't do that. You're going to get in trouble. Hopefully, he'll get caught and kicked out. Whatever. So I want to hang out with you dorks anyway. I'm only here because my dad made me come. Super stoked you made it, cuz. Stop being babies. I'm gonna tap the glass so hard I murder all the fish or anything. Or I'm not gonna, sorry. They're just gonna die because I tap the glass? <laughs> yeah, I'm not stupid. I'm not falling for that. Wow, Toby is so smart. He doesn't fall for facts. There's no tricking that guy. You total dingus. Anyway, isn't the glass like two feet thick or whatever? Like, I tap the glass once and it's gonna break? Sure, I'd need a super katana or something. Dude, that's not what the aquarium dude and Delane were saying. You're just gonna stress out the fish. <laughs> Toby looks at you and you freeze. Hey, come on. I wonder what happens when you tap the glass with your freaky cyborg arm. Come on, try it. Toby, cut it out. Stop being lame. I wanna see what happens. Come on, young your business. How are we supposed to tap on the glass with our normal fingers? But what about her weird robot arm? Maybe it's different. Maybe all the fish will come and look at it and it'll be cool. None of your business, come on! Misha tugs on your sleeve and whispers, Hey, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. Absolutely not. Screw you, Toby. Oh, come on, please. If anything happens, which it won't, I'll tell them it was my idea. I highly doubt that. Please? He sounds like freaking Chamberlain from Dark Crystal. Please? No. Oh, whatever. Lame. Toby dabs and then runs out of the room. Oh, God. Wait, Toby, wait up. Come on, none your business. I guess I have to follow. Bye, guys. Where are we now? Is this still deep ocean? You hear commotion coming from the next room. You step out of the dark kelp forest exhibit, the reflections of the water still touching your feet, and into the brightly lit tide pool room. You touch uh, The touch tank in the corner sparkles in the sunlight. A few of your classmates examine a, gri a dripping sand dollar while others walk away from the tank, giggling after petting a hermit crab. A boy that you've never spoken to before approaches you. Sand dollars can feel paid, you know. Hmm. That's cool. He walks away? <laughs> huh. Hey! You want to poke the sea slug? No. <laughs> I want to! Aw, the hermit crab then? Nope. <laughs> Aw. But the touch tank is part of the aquarium experience. At least touch the coral. Huh. Coral. Safe, non-moving coral. You could do that. You walk up to the touch tank and look down. Colorful shells and lumps of coral lay on the sand. A dark purple sea slug slowly climbs over a rock. You take a deep breath. <gasps> slowly, you lower your hand into the tank. Why are you doing this anyway? Because Misha told you to? Why do you do everything Misha tells you to? Is she even still here? You can't hear her. Actually, you can't really hear anything. Your hand touches the water. It's cold. Lower, into the tank, into the sand. What were you reaching for again? Coral? As you see, all you see is sand, ebbing gently in the water. Specks float upwards and stick to your hand. Lower. And you know, you could swear. You swear the tank didn't look this deep. 
The sand is ebbing less gently now. In fact, it's swirling. You can't see your hand. The water is suddenly murky. It's up to your elbow now. The sand churns like something underneath is rising up. Pull your hand out, quick! You move to pull your hand out of the tank, but something grabs you and pulls you back in. Terror rises in your chest. You can barely breathe. Yell for help! You yell, but no one seems to hear you. You brace your body against the tank and pull upwards. It fights you, pulling you in deeper, deeper. Misha, help! You pull your entire weight against the tank. Pull as hard as you can. You feel a release. Suddenly, you're standing next to the tank, surrounded by your lively classmates. Some of them are staring at you, giggling and pointing. You look at the tank. The water is clear and only a few inches deep. The sea slug continues its slow journey across the rock. Gee, stop yelling! What did you- Oh, a sand dollar! Cool! You should probably put it back. You look at your hand. You're holding a sand dollar. Huh. I knew you'd like the touch tank. What do you mean? Well, you clearly got into it. Your entire arm is wet. You check. Your sleeve is dripping all the way up to your shoulder. See? You just have to try things. I knew you'd get into it. Try not to make a scene next time, though. Anyway, Monica says there's a room with stingrays, so we should go there next. Come on! Something in the tank grabbed me. Dude, stop freaking out. Everyone's going to think we're weird. It's probably just a hermit crab or something. You're fine. Let's just go to the next room, okay? As Misha grabs your hand, you look back at the touch tank. It looks normal. I mean, as normal as a weird-looking coral can look. That is coral, right? You're starting to get a headache. The longer you look at the touch tank, the more it hurts. Come on! You look away and allow Misha to pull you into the next room. We'll go to the next room next time. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Check out the game for yourself if you want to see what happens before I do. And support the devs. Thanks again to IG Collective, and have a good day.